Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskies. Today I'm in England, not in Scotland, England, the Lakes Distillery. This is one of 5,400 bottles worldwide, and this is the Whiskey Makers Edition. Now, the Lakes wants to be known for its sherry dominated luxury good whiskies, basically, um, a British or an English Macallan. And this is a deviation from that um, sherry focus, and that's why it's a whiskey maker edition. And this is um, Calieta. Calieta is a type of port, is a tony port that's at least seven years old, and it's a vintage, which means all the grapes were picked and um, harvested and fermented in one year, and then that whiskey is aged for at least seven years, and then it's filled up as a Calieta port cask or port, port edition. So um, the exceptional diversions here is noticeable through that. I should have actually been um, letting my whiskey settle into the glass all the time I'm talking. I absolutely, absolutely love this bottle. Um, love the base, love the design, love the feeling here of the cork as well as um, the glass bottom of this. This is just a beautiful, beautiful example of what craftsmanship can look like. Um, they spend a little bit of time and some money making, designing, and actually um, producing this model. Even the cap at the top, I mean here we have real cork, we have on top of this, um, you can see a nice little, like a coin on there, very, very well done. Um, one of the better pouring bottles, by the way, as well. Um, <laughs> so not unimportant, actually. So 52%, and uh, this is port. And this is a mixture of bourbon barrels. Whiskey base number 164109. And this is 66, um, point, um, 66 euros and 50 cents. Oh, uh, I wanted to read very briefly here about this from the book. The book, um, as I like to put it. The um, Malt Whiskey Yearbook. Give it a moment to actually settle in the glass. Talking about the, the Lakes Distillery. Headed by Paul Curry, who was the co-founder of Isle of Arran Distilleries, a consortium of private investors founded the distillery. The distillery is equipped with two stills for the whiskey production, each um, with both copper and stainless steel condensers, and a third still for the distillation of gin. Boo, I don't like gin. So, a recent £4.25 million investment from Kumbar or Kam Kamhar Capital has made it possible to install eight new washbacks, thereby tripling the production capacity to more than one million liters, sorry, one million bottles per year. Wow. The inaugural bottling, that was the Lakes um, Malt Genesis, was sold on the 29th of June 2018 at an auction fetching a staggering 7,900 pounds, which is a lot for the first bottle. And in September 19, the first installment in a four-year collection of single malt called the Quattrofoglia um, collection was um, released with number three and four following in 2020 and 2021. So in September 2019, the distillery launched its first limited edition in the Whiskey Makers Reserve. I had one of those. It was very, very nice. And the owners have expressed their intention of becoming, I love this, this is the statement of the day, a luxury global brand led by sherry matured malts. A luxury global brand. So they want to become the new Macallan. Now that doesn't um, surprise me because if you recognize this signature in the back of the box, that is going to be the signature of Daval Gandhi. He is now the master distiller there. Um, the whiskey maker is what he calls himself. And he was by McAllen beforehand. So what am I going to use to compare? I'm going to use a Glendronach um, portwood. Now this is only 46%. I know this is 52. I didn't find anything else that I wanted to try and I had it opened and available at this moment. I actually have a little bit of port wood left here in my glass from my video, my German video. So um, it's interesting that the people who started 25 years ago or co-founded um, Aaron have moved on and now they founded a new distillery in the Lakes District. The place to go if you want to go on vacation in, um, in England where uh, traveling by plane at the moment is not possible really much due to COVID and so on. So, um, colheita means in Portuguese, harvest. 
the harvest, the vintage, that's what that is. So all the, all the grapes are from one harvest here. All right, 5,400 bottles, um, 66 euros, 50 cents is what I paid. Now on the nose, I'm getting a chocolatey, a milk chocolatey moment with a lot of malt, a little bit of sugar, and I'm getting a little bit of a dry, a dry chalky moment. A little bit of a alcohol um, is there, an alcohol moment. Now this doesn't smell wow. The first time I ever had a Lakes, I think it was the um, the um, it was a whiskey maker or something. It was fabulous. Oh, this is much better. I have a I have a I have more European oak. I have a deeper, darker um, dark chocolate with a little bit of like um, a raspberry filling. Nice, very very nice. Mm. I'm getting a little bit of, uh, actually, the yeast. This doesn't seem, and a little bit of a, a punch in the nose. This does not seem to be very old, very well-aged, to be honest. All right, cheers. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of alcohol. That's a hot. Wow, it gets hotter. It's like one of those, um, you remember those fireballs? Those cinnamon fireballs I'd put in my mouth for a moment. You're going to stop getting hot. I'd take it out and it would get hotter. That's what happened here. It's not the cinnamon hot. It's the alcohol hot. It's more like a ginger, a pepper hot. And it just starts and then explodes into this like a mushroom cloud of hotness in your mouth. And then it dissipates. And then you have a nice little sweet port moment left over. But it's like, oh, this is nice. What's happening? Oh, no. And then, oh, it's nice. Uh, I've had a quite, I've had a few of whiskeys that are exactly the same thing. They're wonderful whiskeys. They would be even wonderful whiskeys, more wonderful, if they had been allowed to age longer. This is fairly young, three to four years old. So I'm going to take it down to about 40 Three percent, forty-three. So it's now fifty-two. So I really diluted it a lot, and I want to see if it finally hits my wheelhouse where the alcohol doesn't burn and doesn't distract as it has done before. Cheers. Oh, that chalkiness remains. It's interesting. It's a berry. It's a chalkiness. It's a sweetiness and a wood. Mm. Also at the end, a little bit of a tannin moment, um, tartness, like a cranberry moment, which I really don't need. No, 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 do not like this whiskey. So <laughs> I want to be like green eggs and ham. Does not like, do not like this whiskey. Whiskey do not like. <laughs> if you like this whiskey, you do not like me. Um, yes, I'm sorry. Going over to the Glendronach Portwood. Oh, so much better. Mm. This is a very good whiskey. This is a good whiskey. It's not even great whiskey. Mm. But compared to this, it's actually leagues above it. This is um, playing at the bottom of the Champions League um, or the Bundesliga. Um, and this is third, fourth league down below where it doesn't even have a chance competing with the big boys yet. With this one bottling, all right? Um, the lakes have great bottling. This is just not one of the ones that hit my hits my palate the way I want it. I'm going to give it a C minus. I'm going to give it a D plus is what I'm going to give it actually. That um, just doesn't do it for me. It's a D. It's a D plus. Um, maybe a C minus minus D plus if you really want to be nice. Mm. 
value for money 66 euros 50 for no age statement for a port finish basically at 50 52 percent a little bit too expensive yes there's 5400 bottles in this worldwide and it's made by um the val gandhi here at the lakes but still mm -mm. It's a solid D in my book for the value for money. If I don't like it, I'm not going to spend money on it. That's the big problem here. All right, so my question of the day is, um, there are other distilleries in the, um, the lakes, for example. Hmm, Bimber, in, and not in lakes in England. Um, Bimber in London, and there's also Coswolds Distillery in Coswolds. What other English distilleries have you heard of? Write them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think about this bottle? Have you tried it? What's your opinion? Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare, one of 5,400 bottles, and exotic whiskeys. Please like, subscribe, tell others. All the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.